Brittany Murphy has dozens of movies and TV shows to her credit. Perhaps you remember her from Clueless, Uptown Girls, or Little Black Book. The Los Angeles Coroner's Office ruled in 2009 that the death of the 32-year-old woman found unconscious in her bathroom was due to pneumonia, anemia, and prescription medicine. Her dad did not buy that conclusion. Bertolotti eventually got a hair sample and had it tested. According to Carlson Company Laboratories, there were high levels of heavy metals in Brittany's system. The company reports, if we were to eliminate the possibility of a simultaneous accidental heavy metals exposure to the sample donor, then the only logical explanation would be an exposure to these metals administered by a third-party perpetrator with likely criminal intent. Shortly after results were announced, the toxicologist who performed the test backpedaled, telling Slate.com that hair dyes were a likely source of the heavy metals. That could make sense, except for two important considerations. Number one, Brittany's husband, Simon Monjack, died five months after her, under similar circumstances. And number two, Bertolotti reports Homeland Security was employing terror tactics against his daughter because of her outspoken support for Julia Davis, a whistleblower who used to work as a border security guard. He and Davis are now creative partners in a project for Fleur de Lis Films. Bertolotti says in a press release for the media company, Brittany and Simon were in fact under surveillance, including helicopters. Their telephones were wiretapped. Brittany was afraid to go home because of the sneak and peek incursions into their residence. You'd think that would be enough to reopen the investigation, but will the coroner's office agree? That could mean thinking outside the box. And what bureaucrat wants to run the risk of ticking off Homeland Security? This is Steve Eastman reporting.